Hello, and welcome to the all-new Fusion Cast, a video cast all about Compass Fusion. I'm going to start off with a few plugin demos. For our first plugin, we have the new Enhanced Zoom plugin. This plugin allows you to interact with objects on screen while zoomed in, unlike the old Zoom plugin. And it's easier to pan around since you pan by moving a mouse. Zooming is, of course, useful for those who have bad eyesight, and it's also good for screencasting. Our next plugin is the negative plugin. Old users will recognize it. It doesn't have any new features, but it's very useful for those who need better contrast while reading. Our next plugin is new and a work in progress. It's called the Color Filter plugin. It has various applications, the most useful being the contrast option. This is also good for people with bad eyesight. It might make things a little prettier than Ubuntu's high contrast themes do. There are also a few silly things, like making the screen all green. I'll be showing you how to configure this plugin later on in this video cast. Our next plugin on the list is the Opacity plugin. This causes windows to become transparent when the mouse is on a window underneath. That way you can read what's underneath what you're writing into. Very useful for commands. Okay, I thought I'd start out the how-tos with a tutorial on how to get Compass Fusion installed, especially with Ubuntu Feisty Fawn. You can install Compass Fusion in a few ways. The first way is to use Trevino's repository. Trevino has a, an iCandy repository, which you can use to install Barrel, Compass, and Compass Fusion. Follow the directions on my show notes at fusioncast.blogspot.com and you should have it working in no time. This method is ideal if you don't want to compile your own, and if you don't care about not having up-to-the-minute updates you get with the other method. The other method is to install git and clone the source. Do not run sudo apt-get install git as it will install the wrong package. Follow the instructions carefully. Okay, good luck with your installation. If you have any problems, go on IRC. Here's how to do that with a game. The same method applies to Pigeon. In the Buddies window in Game, go to the Accounts menu and choose Add slash Edit Accounts. Choose Add in the new window and then select IRC from the pop drop-down menu. Type in the screen name you want to use, and then change the server to irc.freenode.net. Click Save. In the other window, check your new account. Then go to the Buddies menu. Choose Join a Chat, and then enter pound compass fusion. Click Join, and you've joined our IRC channel. You might even find me there. My nick is Gavin TL Gold. If you type the beginning of the person's nick and then press tab, it'll fill it in for you. When using IRC, you'll want to type the name of the person you're talking to in every comment. That way they know that you've typed something because they're notified when they hear their name. Now I'm going to demonstrate how the color filter plugin works. In CCSM, Open the color filter options, click add, and type in the path to a filter file, which can be found in GitWeb under color filters with a plural. There are also a few in the filter folder inside your color filter folder. Notice that the Nautilus dialog won't work. This is a bug, which will be fixed eventually. For now, you have to type in the path. The more filter files you add to the list, harder to recognize your window will be when you activate it. This is because every plugin on the list is applied. I didn't realize this at first. To initiate the plugin, hit Super F for one window, Super D for the whole screen. This doesn't apply to the ear cube sky down, however. If you're running Avant Window Navigator, you might notice the bar on the bottom. This is another bug. The plugin is still being developed. You can have your window decorations filtered too, but that doesn't look good yet either. 
That's about all the features so far. Look forward to a great, fun new plugin. Okay, that just about sums up episode one of Fusion Cast. Before we close out the show, I want to thank Trevino himself for suggesting I use KDEN Live. KDEN Live is a great video editor, which you can find in Trevino's Feisty repository. I'll link to that in the show notes. I use Joe Kosher for the audio production. Sorry about the clicks, but that can't be helped until GStreamer gets better with my audio card. I also want to thank Jupiter1TX for suggesting that instead of a video camera, I use XVidCap. That's also available in Trevino's repo. The background music is from the Voices of Percussion, an Austrian percussion ensemble. The track is called Fusion Mallets, and I actually didn't realize the connection until just now. It fits well, though. I used all open source software running on Ubuntu Feisty Fawn. You can email me at fusioncast at gmail.com. Please write. I'll love to hear what you think of this. The blog is, of course, fusioncast.blogspot.com. I'll be working on the design a little more so it looks better, since it's very ugly right now. On the blog, you can also write comments. Feel free to, and also drop in at IRC pound compass dash fusion and say hello. My nick is, once again, Gavin TL Gold. This is Gavin, and thanks for listening to the Fusion Cast. I'll see you all next time. Thank you.